So here we have a hard drive of a laptop, but this laptop looks like it had been sat outside in the rain for quite a long time. You can see there's this corrosion on the side of this hard drive, so it's looking pretty crap. So it's been wet for quite a long time. See how that looks all crappy, this is a one that hasn't been wet. You can see it looks much cleaner and shinier and not corroded, so we'll take this apart. Right, so I'm just going to undo the screws on the bottom, try and get the PCB off if I can. Yeah, I think I'll stop and come back. To okay, the screws are out. Let's try and get the PCB off. Okay, it's off. It doesn't look too bad, actually. And what about the drive? Again, this corner is corroded. Maybe we can just brush this off and um, test it. It may have not worked anyway. I mean, they must have scrapped the laptop for some reason. But we'll get rid of all this corroded crap, especially around the connector. Give this a bit of a brush if there's any corrosion left on it that's going to short anything out. I'll have a examine of this and put it together and then we'll go and try it. Well considering how wet this looks like it's been, this board's actually in pretty good condition doesn't look to be corroded particularly anywhere. The connectors look okay. It's a slight sort of water stain on this corner. You probably can't see it. But yeah, when you look at how sort of crappy that's looking. Okay, well let's just see if this spins up even. Yeah, I can hear it. Whether you can. I see I've got iron filings stuck to it, that's bad. Right, let's just unplug this a minute and then we'll try it properly. Get these iron, iron filings off. Okay, let's see if it worked. Look at the smart data for the disk. Yeah, red bits doesn't look that great. So relocated sector count. That's a lot of relocated sectors. Yeah, I don't think that's in good condition. And look down here we've got relocation events. Yeah. Not in good condition. Let's do the short test and see what it does. That's flicking horribly. Yeah, test complete with the read error. So, yeah, knackered. But it did spin up and it did recognize it. And we could read the smart data. So, interesting. And after it sitting there, not doing anything for a while, it is actually now wiping it. But not that there's much point, because the disc is so knackered. But, there you go. You see how it's slowing down now, it's struggling. And you can hear it clicking. You can hear that. Probably not. But, yeah. Not in good condition. It's got stuck now. Yeah, look how slow it's gone now. It's obviously on a bad bit of the disc. Whether that was caused by the water getting in it, or on it, or whether it was like that anyway, who knows, but yeah, it's really struggling. Okay, well, seeing this is totally useless, let's take it apart. I've taken the screws out. See if we can see if any moisture got in, or Anything, I doubt that we'll see anything, but you never know. 
And these laptop ones, usually the disc platters are made of uh, glass, so bear that in mind if you take one apart, that they can shatter. And also, if you take a hard drive apart, that's it, it's fucked. If you take one screw out the lid, it's fucked. That's it. It's gone. But, yeah. Alright, piece flew out. There's the disc. There's the reed head. It goes across it while this is spinning. A couple of, there's a couple of magnets here, they're good. And you can see the rubbish camera which I film with. Which will not focus while filming. See if I move this in, not gonna focus. Mirror's pretty good though. Right. Well, let me look at this. I don't see anything obvious in there. Ah. Right. Let's get the magnets out. Because they're always fun. Come on, are you going to fit? Yeah, you need, this one uses really tiny screws. There. That's one of them. I need to get this out to get the other one out. Get a magnet out of it. Pretty strong magnet. So if you take everything apart, this is what you're left with, basically. A couple of pretty good magnets. PCB. These have an aluminium lid, sort of plated with shiny stuff. We have an aluminium base and a glass disc. Okay, just to prove it's glass. Or I think it is. Maybe it isn't. It's class. Definitely. 